Okay then, in this video I would like to talk a little bit more about view in open layers. In open layers every map must have a view. So view is in here, alright? So if we don't have a view, that means we cannot display its data. Because it represents a two-dimensional view of the map, in other words its job is to specify where and how the user will look at the map. But more specifically, this view defines the geographic center of the map. So in here, all right, so we're defining center of the view and then the resolution which is how much of the map we can see around the center so we have we can set extent that means we cannot go beyond that extent we can also set different other options for instance maximum zoom level minimum zoom level etc and etc and the third one is a rotation all right so let's implement those things and let's go to our um, let's go to our application and in here, if I reload that one, we are centered um, at 0, 0, right? So that's X and Y coordinates. Um, that's, for instance, center um, in, in South America, right? But I need for that coordinates from, let's, for instance, be more specific. Let's center around this Peru. So how can we, how can we do that? So for that, we need... We need to specify x and y coordinates for Peru. But how can I get that one? Well, it's very easy. So there are many options to do that. I mean, to get those x and y coordinates. And I'll show you one of the very easiest ones. So in open layers, map instance, this map instance supports a click event. All right. So we can use that click event to print out coordinates. All right. So that means for every click, it will print out the coordinate. Of that click so let's let's do that so we say map on then we will assign here event that's click in our case so then whenever there is a click it runs this function all right and this function will accept an argument here it's e and here let's print out that just argument for now so on every click it just prints out this e all right this one so now Let's open the console in here. So whenever I click into any each to any part of the map, it just prints out that event. All right. So it says here type click, and then here it has different options. So we can use this coordinate to get the coordinate for the click. All right. And I can access this coordinate by saying e dot coordinate. I will print out this x and y coordinate. All right. So like this e dot coordinate. Now, if I click into any part of the map, it just prints out the coordinate, relevant coordinate. So now we are interested in Peru. So let's click on top of that one. So now there's the first one is X coordinate and the second one is Y coordinate. Let's paste it into the center. This. So and the second one is Y coordinate, right? So now let's just um, change this zoom level to maybe seven. And then I would like to set max zoom so you can set maximum zoom level and I will set that one to 10 and then I would like to set minimum zoom level so we can also set min zoom and then that's gonna be 4 all right I think you should be fine for now now I am centered in Peru I think it's Peru yeah so this one is Peru yeah I'm centered in Peru now so I can change anything in here so now max zoom level is set zoom level set to seven but i also have restriction in terms of maximum zoom level and minimum zoom level for instance if i just click into zoom in i can zoom in another three more zoom in levels so for instance if i click one two three that's it if i click any more times so if i cl i'm clicking right now into plus button but it's not zooming in because i have a restriction in terms of maximum zoom level the same applies for the mean zoom level so because i have set mean zoom to seven uh, to four i can go back three uh, three more times so one two three and if i click again it's not zooming out because i because i have a restriction for the mean zoom all right and remember we can also set rotation and that rotation so i can say rotation and here i need to specify a value and this one accepts values in radians all right so now i have set that one to 0 
So now if you take a look, now it's rotated to the clockwise direction. And there is a small button here to reset rotation. So if I click that one, I will reset rotation. So that's how this view affects your, your, your map. And here, if you go to API and then type in here OL view, you can see that class and there are some more options you can pass in. So we used center and we used maximum zoom, minimum zoom, but there are other things like you can set projection. In our case, it's EPSG 3857, which is a spherical Mercator. That's why when we click it onto the map, it printed out X and Y coordinates. If you set that one, if you set projection to, for instance, 4326, which is VGS 84, then it's going to print out um, it's going to print out longitude and latitude instead of X and Y. So you can set projection. So you also you can set extent. So that means everything beyond that extent will not be visible. So you cannot just go beyond that extent and many, many more things. So basically that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.